Hey, hey, hey there, YouTubers. Um, this is uh, KRD, Jason over here. I thought I'd just get on here. It is a little after 11 o'clock my time. Um, I'm here to uh, reveal the finale for my Blue Ox Model Shop Street Machine Group Build. Um, we cut it to the wire. Uh, there's a couple little details that I'm going to do at another time here. Just uh, little wiring stuff like that, and then I'm going to put a different set of carburetors on it. Um, but uh, the paint is very fresh on this thing. So I'm going to uh, show you what we did. And as you can see here in the picture, we used the uh, 71 Plymouth Duster 340 from AMT. And basically, I made an 8 second um, streetcar. So, here she is. Ha ha! No, here it is. So, as you can see, we put the, uh, the Hemi scoop on it. We've got it to where she's all steel, chrome bumpers yet. It's fully interior. It has a full cage, back seat. Um, I will do a better video on this thing, even the bottom. Um it's very fresh paint so i don't i'm trying not to handle it a lot i want to give it a few days of curing and then i'll roll it over on a microfiber towel for everybody um so as you can see we've got parachute on it um it's got drag leaf springs in it caltrax it's got a 315 drag radio on it um weld wheels um i still have to uh detail out the uh door handles yet um i just have just out of time so um i'm happy that it's this far along with uh the rush that it's been the last few days um had some issue with the primer going down at first i was getting some fish eyes in the primer i did not like that so i ended up sanding it all down again and starting over which i'm glad i did at that time and I was kind of shocked by that because uh, the uh, I scrubbed the body really well and I scuffed the body with uh, you know 800 sanding sticks so um, the body wasn't really flat in a lot of the lines so I sanded it and got the body work pretty well on this car um, so it must have been just oils that were coming out from the plastic yet so uh, yeah, it was kind of kind of a shock, really. Um, so let's see if we can get the hood off while this thing is moving. Um, so we've got a Ray Burton Hemi in there. Um, it's got an MSD ignition. I still have to put the uh, radiator hose on it and the windshield wiper motor. Um, I even got I left the windshield wipers on it because it's a streetcar. So. Like I said, it's got a full cage in it. It's got the NHRA certification on the cage that's coming around here. Um, she's good to go. I do have the fuel line and all that stuff is plumbed underneath the car. Um, I didn't connect the fuel line from the pump mount in the front here due to I'm going to get some better carburetors. Um, I'm not happy with these carburetors that I scavenged out of another kit they just don't have the detail that I like so um, same thing with those velocity stacks that are on those carbs I don't really like those so I'm going to get a better carburetor for it and then I will run the fuel line put the radiator hose in there and then um, do the windshield washer uh, motor and then maybe tomorrow I'll do these these door handles um, I opted not to do them with bare metal foil. Uh, I started to do it and it was gonna take a couple pieces to get it to kind of fold around because I did drill out the uh, the hole there, or the handle, instead of it just being a solid piece there, I drilled it out to where you put your fingers in there. So I'm gonna have to paint those by hand and I'm probably gonna use the uh, AK Super Chrome on the door handles. Um, So yeah, that's my my entry to the Blue Ox model shop. Um, 
this is the actual yellow for the factory color of the duster, the A-body color in 71 to 72. Um, this is an actual uh, leftover real paint from my one-to-one -one cars that I used. Paint went down really, really well. Um, there again, I got to thank Gallery. Um, they provided me the airbrushes and um, I used their airbrushes on this build a lot. This thing went down really well. So very happy about it. The only thing, like I said, I had an issue with was the, uh, was the primer. So um, yeah, it was pretty weird. But all in all, I'm happy with it. Um, we're gonna let it sit and cure for a few days and then we'll um, print some new carburetors and we will put them on there. Um, I gotta get get going on the uh, USAC build back on the truck tomorrow. So we'll be on the truck tomorrow and we will go from there. So I hope you all like what I did here. You should have known that it was gonna be a Mopar coming from me and probably even that it was gonna be an A-body Mopar. So with that being said, I'm gonna call it good night. I hope everybody has a happy new year and hope uh, everybody has good plans for their their uh, new year and get some quality bench time and get out there and do some modeling. With that being said, peace out and good night.